Well, it uh, opened two years ago in 2009 was our first season and uh, seats 7,431 is a sellout crowd, although we have set a record this year on opening night with 8,250 standing room only, uh, which most of the standing room only ends up being in uh, the end underneath the wall on the on the right right hand side over there. You know, it's a fantastic building. Fans love it. I think the the thing about it that I mean, obviously with the with only the one video board, no drop down, um, you know, over the ice uh, board is a little bit different, and just kind of almost more of a horseshoe type uh, on the overall makes it a little bit different, and it's very loud. Well, our, our mascot is Spike, and uh, the, the flying version of him appeared uh, this past season uh, in 2010. He was unveiled, uh, and he'll fly around during the intermissions a lot, drop things to the fans, uh, do things like that. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of those different elements that we play on the video board as well, trying to get fans involved and uh, you know allowing them to enjoy the game. Tell us a bit about the relationship between the walleye and the mud hens. Um, it's been great. I mean, obviously uh, owned by the county and the uh, ownership group is the same for both. And, and obviously the only time there's any uh, a little bit of issues is if we're in the playoffs and they're starting their season. The, we could have games at the same time and or on the same day. And, uh, you know, but we have yet to really experience too much of that. Uh, we played uh, in the playoffs two years ago when the Mud Hens did open their season. But as far as the relationship goes, everybody works hand in hand and, and it, it really is a great great setup here.